how to buy a domain name on GoDaddy 2023 live walkthrough. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. I hope you all are doing great and are having an amazing and absolutely incredible day. I bring you back with yet another video and in this video we're going to be talking about how you're going to be able to buy a domain name on GoDaddy in the easiest way possible and then using that domain to obviously connect it to any provider that you have. You know, it could be Shopify, it could be Wix and all WordPress, tons and tons of places. So GoDaddy is obviously really famous for all of its domains and you know, it's decent pricings. Uh, and I would obviously prefer it over things like hosting or Bluehost, okay? So to start things off, obviously, you're going to come over to GoDaddy.com, okay? And once you bring yourself over to GoDaddy.com, what you're going to do over here is uh, you're going to come to a basic store. So I'm going to buy a domain and show you the whole process. So let's jump into it. Uh, so basically, once you're over here, it's going to ask you to find your perfect domain. So you're going to enter a domain into the search bar. Okay. And if you have anything in mind, you can, uh, you know, enter that. So let's say in my case, I'm going to go with John's coffee shop. Okay. Let's go with that. And I'm going to click on the search domain. So let's say I want to go with John's coffee shop. So it brings me to this over here. So John's coffee shop.com and John's coffee shop.co. So the dot com gets an exact match and it says, that it's uh, it's obviously free for the first uh, year okay so basically i can get this domain totally free for the first year that i have it and then i can get it for you know a few uh, bucks if i go with co so for the first year it's free for this like uh, on the third year or the second year term what you're gonna do is you're gonna have to pay uh, you know, this should be around, I guess, $25 per year. So $25 per year for a domain, pretty good pricing, to be honest. Like I would definitely go for that. And then there's different pricings for different domains down here. Now, obviously this is in my currency, but you know, $1 is, I guess, 280 rupees in my currency. So yeah, as I said, this should be around 20 25 or even less than that 20 18 or 20 dollars so a domain in 18 or 20 dollars pretty incredible and i would definitely go with an offer like that so once you've gotten this domain so obviously get a domain which would make more sense to you okay so right now in this case um let's go ahead with this one okay and i'm going to click on make it yours and once you click on a domain and make it yours basically it takes you through the whole setup process okay and again for the first year, it's only it's it's free basically. So um, here it says your grand total is going to be this much, which is around you could say this is around three hundred four hundred dollars. So obviously you're going to view your card to see what kind of things it's given you. So it gives you two domains. So obviously we're um, basically these two domains. I'm going to tell you what they mean. Uh, this domain is the dot store domain registration and this is the dot com registration. Now this over here, this obviously has a five year plan. So that's why it's a bit more expensive. You could increase the plan for this one as well. To be honest, I'm going to delete the dot store one and I'm going to keep this one. And as you can see, the price went significantly down or you can just keep it for one year. That obviously depends on whatever type of YB you want to go with. Uh, but you do have to pay it right now because uh, you can pay it on a yearly basis because a lot of people what they do is they pay uh, or you know they use the domain free for one year and then they totally ditch it so obviously to prevent that they take the money up front so even if you like keep this domain for one year what it will do is it will just take the you know uh, tax charges that it takes from people so let's say in my case this should be around again uh, 12 to 13 dollars which is not a lot for one year of domain and obviously the domain is a .com domain, which is even better. So what you're going to do is you're going to click on continue to cart after you've chosen the domain. And obviously, please do make sure to go with a domain name that you're comfortable with. Don't go with a domain name that you don't like. Okay, go with any domain name because GoDaddy has every domain name available to you. So obviously, once you've gone with the domain of your choice, what you're going to do from there is you're going to walk yourself over through these steps. So here it says a few things. Protect your domain. While GoDaddy domains include free privacy protection to guard your personal info, our full and unlimited domain protection plans go further. We highly recommend full domain protection, but it is an optional feature. So first of all, there's the full domain protection where you get recommended. It's highly recommended because obviously you get the full domain protection with all the privacy and all. 
It prevents hackers from actually, you know, stealing your domain, stealing your info, or making any other unauthorized changes that you don't want. It requires your approval as well via two-factor verification for vital changes like deleting or transferring a domain. And then there's ultimate domain protection as well, where you get everything in full domain protection. Plus, you can hold on to your domain name for an extra 90 days if your credit card or your billing method actually applies. And then you can also go with no domain protection. Obviously, the ultimate domain protection is... Uh, a bit more expensive than like it's not expensive but it's more pricier than the full domain protection so go with whatever you know chooses uh, best to your mind and then it says you can also build a website in less than an hour straight with the godaddy builder if you want to and here it says build credibility with a custom email address and you can also create a custom uh, business email address using your domain which is also, as I said, a really good feature. And GoDaddy provides all these features to you by itself. Like, look at this. GoDaddy recommends this by itself. And you can obviously go with this. I'm going to go with no thanks. And once you do that, click on continue to cart. And once you finally click on continue to cart, it's going to take you to the checkout page. Okay. And on the checkout page, once you have, you know, finalized everything and once everything is uh, well and good for you to go, uh, you're going to make sure to go ahead and add all your relevant information to you know actually buy the domain so make sure to cross check everything that everything is you know good and fine to go with so you know here's your domain uh here's the full domain protection uh again it's you can get a professional email only for you know around 0 0.5 dollars so i would tell you to get it because you know why not but uh you know it depends on you on whatever type of wipe you want to go with and once you have finally done all of that you're going to finally click on I'm ready to pay, you know, once you've confirmed everything. And again, I'm going to tell you again, do make sure to confirm everything without confirming everything. Don't say yes to anything. So once you've confirmed all of it, you're going to go ahead and add all the necessary details. So, you know, country, first name, last name, phone number, address, address content, city, province, region, tax ID for obviously, you know, your country's tax calculation. And once you've done that, you're going to go into the payment method. And in the payment method, obviously, you're going to get a few different payment methods. Uh, there's going to be PayPal. There's going to be Payoneer. There's going to be Stripe. And there is going to be, uh, you know, all these other pay safe card ways. So obviously, go with whatever method you, you know, feel comfortable going with. Most people obviously go with the Payoneer or PayPal. And uh, I would recommend going with PayPal because for online tractions, that would be better. You could also add a credit debit card, to be honest. But uh PayPal would be much more easier, but in the case you don't have a PayPal, just use your credit or debit card. And after that, you're going to get a free domain and you can use it on GoDaddy if you want to, but you can also use it on other websites, which is a great perk. So that's how simple and easy it is to actually get and buy a domain on GoDaddy. So yeah, that's pretty much about it for this video. If you enjoyed watching, drop down a like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you all for you next time. Goodbye.